This video is brought to you by Karma. Hey Flipsters, welcome back to the channel. We've got another amazing before and after house transformation for you. You're gonna wanna stick around to the end of the video. You won't believe how it turns out and you're not gonna believe what we found inside this house. It weighs over 500 pounds. Check this thing out. Hey Flipsters, I'm Lauren. And I'm Lincoln and we are happily married. But not to each other. We're old friends from college and we're flipping houses in the Austin, Texas area. And we're taking you along for the ride. Hey Flipsters, I wanted to take a second and tell you about the sponsor of this video, Karma. Karma is an app and Chrome extension to make sure you never miss a price drop or coupon code. Check out the link in our description. So I actually use Karma on this project you're about to see. The kitchen transformation on this project is incredible. You're gonna wanna stick around, trust me. But I found some awesome brass pendants that I wanted to use in the project. Problem being, they were a little pricier than we usually do. So I actually used Karma, scored a deal. Let me show you how I did it. So you can go to their website, karmanow.com and actually download their Chrome extension. They're formerly known as Shop Tagger. You may know them as that. It's super simple. You just go, you add your extension. All right, and just like that, a little box appears up here in the top. So once you download the extension into your browser, you just go to the websites where you like to shop. All right, so here are the pendants that I found. I'm gonna go ahead, we need two of them. So I added the pendants to my cart. So Karma actually scans the web for coupon codes and applies them at checkout automatically. That's why installing their Chrome extension is a must. Good news, coupons are found. All right, so just like that, I say 15%, which in this case was over $133. Thank you, Karma. And another really cool feature is that if you have a product that does not currently have a coupon code, you can go ahead and save your item. They will email you if the price drops or if a coupon code ever becomes available. This is super helpful because there's a number of items that we just buy all the time for our projects. So I go ahead and preload them in my cart, and then when the price drops, Boom, I buy in bulk and save money. Once an item is saved in your Karma cart, you'll get notifications via email or mobile push when the item you've saved goes on sale, has a relevant coupon, or comes back in stock. So once you save an item, you can actually organize them into multiple wish lists, which I love because I do this on a project basis. So for each house, I'll have its own wish list. When you shop from select retail partners, Karma gives cash back to you and to a good cause. Check out the link in our description to get Karma's Chrome extension, or visit shop.karmanow.com slash austinflipsters to learn more. All right, here we are. What? This one is so cute. I think it's got some great curb appeal. You've got these three trees right here in the front. Pretty pumped about this one. Yeah, this is a pretty idyllic setting out front, really. You feel like you're in a park at the end of the street. There's a big lot next to you, so you kind of feel like you have more room. So this house has great curb appeal. I mean, it's got that all brick exterior red. It's like Americana. All right, let's talk about the stats on this house. This is a three bedroom, two bath, 1,543 square foot home. It was built in 1964. We purchased the property for $446,500. I love this one, the classic red brick. Oh, what's up with this fence <laughs> no. right here? Who is this keeping out right here? Why is there a fence? And also- I'm Not sure what this is. I think this is a first. I've never seen somebody actually cover up their porch with just like a plastic Matt? Yeah, it's like the stuff that's in like your floorboards of your car. Yeah, exactly. Let's see what it looks like inside. Let's go. All right. I gotta tell you, first impressions, this house smells the best of any house we've ever been in. <laughs> this house smells like fresh laundry. It does. It smells wow. good. I'll pay at least 30 grand more <laughs> for a good smelling house. Okay, so we've got good curb appeal. We've got good smells. Our work is halfway done. What's left to do? Well, I guess I could think of a thing or two in this room, yeah. Okay, I'm not digging this light fixture. Okay, now what's weird here is that clearly they replaced a bigger light fixture with this. Right, I they didn't repair the drywall or paint over it. Yeah, and I don't think this is adding any value this to this is, room. Yeah. I guess this would be your main living space, correct? This is your living room. Honestly, it's pretty small. Yeah, and right off your front door. It doesn't give you a lot of room. These closets are taking up a ton of real estate. I can't imagine that these were original and like, what are they for? I guess if you got a lot of coats. First of all, I can tell this is an add-on because they didn't even paint the door jams in here. <laughs> If you got rid of these closets, you could actually frame out a small coat closet here. It'd give you some storage. It doesn't really get in the way of your front door. And then it still feels plenty open into your kitchen, right? Well, and that would make more sense. Yeah. Like a coat closet usually is by the front door. Again, if we're deleting these, what? <laughs> I, no, I'm just, I'm just laughing at the thought of someone coming in with their coat and right. walk across the living room all the way here. And then they've got options. They're like, which, which, which coat closet do I choose? I think 
we can get creative and find some other ways to build in some storage. What about the garage? We haven't looked in there yet. Hell yeah. Perfect place to store your <laughs> See you later. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at, here we go. Boom. Is there storage? Yeah, canned pickles for days in there. Oh yeah, this is plenty of storage. There's this great storage area in the garage, but honestly, it'd be a lot more useful if you could get to it from inside the house. Here's your kitchen eating area. I think this is cool space. I like the vaulted ceilings. Yeah, they're nice. And look, you got your own crystal ball. <laughs> Foretell the future. Ooh. There's popcorn ceilings in here, and there were none in the living room. Hmm. So they went to the effort to scrape those ceilings and but left not these. these. Yeah. Hmm. And these beams. Um, so it's a look. It is a look. I think we may even have room for an island here. I think if this wall were open, you definitely would. Yeah, and I think that would go a long way towards helping this kitchen feel updated. Cause really, it, you've got a good amount of space here. I kind of like, I mean, the cabinets, well, some of them are in better shape than others. They're in decent shape, but unfortunately, I don't know if they're worth keeping cause there's been some modifications and to rework the layout, things like this microwave is not properly built into the cabinetry, looks weird and it's really low over your cooktop surface. I think you're better off starting from scratch on the cabinets, unfortunately. Yeah. Let's check out this area cause it gets a little weird. Yeah, I'm starting to see that. There appears to be a wall for no reason right here. <laughs> The wall for no reason. Oh, there is a reason. Look at this bad boy. Somebody broke into it. They they took it apart so they get access. Why do we always run across <laughs> gun properties? Because we're in Texas. Yeah, this is true. Uh, this is giving me flashbacks to that Little House on the Prairie episode when we found the subterranean gun range. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you have got to go watch that episode. This safe is no joke. Watch if I just hit this door. It barely moves. We're joking, but this is gonna be actually hard to remove. We're gonna have to get some equipment or something. This thing is huge. Looks like a Craigslist ad to me. You know what else is open? This wall. They only have to it. They literally put up the bare minimum <laughs> just to hide their gun safe? I guess. Are you kidding me? This is walls only half done. They've already done part of our work for us. I say we open this back up, yeah. make this a proper eating area. And you definitely know that this was not load bearing because they added it after the fact that you've got this plywood ceiling. Take the fluorescence down. So weird. All right, what do we have in here? Oh, there's a tankless water heater. That's yeah, nice. That is a nice upgrade. Okay, so all the bedrooms are down here. Oh, so check out the bathroom. Okay, so this is actually quite a large bathroom for this time. Yeah. Look how cute is this speckled countertop. <laughs> you like that? I'm digging it, and these floors. I like the floors. This is actually, this is kind of in style. Yeah, and they're in good shape. I'd be tempted to keep them. What? You don't have to tell me twice. <laughs> Save some money. I don't know about the wall tile. Yeah, it probably needs to be updated if it wasn't like speckled. Here's a weird feature. What is this light? Why is it pointing straight down and why can I not turn it on? Uh, it's a selfie light. When you're doing your bathroom selfie. Oh. What do you think about these cabinets? Rip yeah. them out? I hate them. You hate them? I hate these cabinets. What do they do to you? And by the way, just got a whip in there. That does not smell good. Oh. You were pretty upset with those cabinets. Like, what did they do to you? I don't know, man. I just feel like we have a brand new house and these are looking all in janky, man. I, I just, I hate them so much. Okay, let's go check out those bedrooms. So I definitely think in here, we're just, you know, gonna do the usual paint, carpet, put in a ceiling fan with a light. These are my favorite kind of rooms. They're so easy. Let's check out the other room. Cool, so this is for the favorite child. A little bit bigger. Yeah, it's nice. Got windows on two sides. Yeah, I mean, there's not much to do here. Obviously, we're gonna have to clean up drywall again. You got some random hooks. What are all those hooks for? That's a hook right there. There's like eight hooks right there. That's a hook right there. I don't know. Comment below, what were the people hooking on this wall? Was it jewelry? Was it? I'm not even gonna begin to imagine what they were hooking. Speculate. I don't know if it's a fishing enthusiast. I don't know if they had a lot of necklaces. I'm not sure what was going on with those hooks. Boom, second bedroom. This is like a no brainer. Walk. Okay, here's our master. Oh. <laughs> ah. What is going on in this carpet? That might be why they use so many air fresheners. Oh, I don't. Oh, goodness. I don't wanna know. 
Mm. Oh, yeah. Don't walk over there. Stay over there. Yeah, that's a little gross. Good thing we're getting rid of this carpet anyway, yeah? Huh? Yeah. I don't love the short windows, but whatevs. It that's, is what it is. That's not bad. I actually think new windows, is we, if we maintain the size, could add some energy efficiency to the house. All right, let's go check out the master bath because that's what sells houses. Nice paper towel oh, dispenser. This is a weird layout. It's so narrow walking mm. in between your vanity and this wall. I was so pumped for this project and then we walked in here. Check out this shower. I'm six foot one. That, it's probably a six foot five shower. Like, I feel like I'm in a phone booth in here. Do you think we could just blow this whole thing out, make this a little more spacious? Well, that would definitely give you some more room. Not only do we have the master closet, we even have that hall closet if we want more space. That would give us a huge footprint for a true master suite bath. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to map this out at the office and really play around with this layout. I think the potential's there, but it's we're gonna it's gonna be down to the inches. Yeah. Hell yeah, subscribe! This one's giving me good vibes. I like this house. This house while old has been so well maintained. I'm pumped on this one. Stick around, it's gonna be a good one. So let's talk about the layout changes for the house. We're gonna get rid of the two coat closets that lead into the kitchen, and we're gonna put one of them back at the front of the house, near the front door. We're gonna recapture the storage off of the garage into the dining room space as our new pantry. And finally, we're gonna recapture some square footage for the primary suite. We're getting rid of the closet in the hallway as well as the primary closet. We're gonna steal a little space from the main bedroom and we're gonna turn that whole area into the primary bathroom suite. So when you get into flipping these houses, you really gotta know what you're doing and what's gonna actually sell the house at the end of the day. Kitchens and those primary suites. So if we couldn't have rearranged the primary suite on this to make sense of feel like a bigger suite, it would have been a complete deal killer. This is something I see as a rookie mistake for people just starting out. That's why we offer a full course for beginners. If you guys wanna get started, we'll walk you through all the pitfalls, what to watch out for, how to source your deals, finance them, find your contractors. Everything you need to know to go from never having flipped a house to flipping your first project is in our course and we'd love to have you join us. Go ahead, click the link below to apply. So it's safe to say, <laughs> demo has already been done. Yeah, this thing was a beast getting it Oh my out. gosh. We had to literally take a saw to it. It was bolted to the ground. So we have chipped out here to run for an island, which is gonna be right about here. And because we removed these closets from the living room, now all of a sudden you've got living, kitchen, dining, it's all one big open concept. Yeah, I think there's plenty of space for an island and now you're super connected. We went ahead and put in a new closet at the front. This is probably the most awkward part of the layout. I don't know about the location. It's not optimal, but. Yeah, I, I think it does provide great storage and it's kind of behind this door. So I'd rather have it tucked in over here than like seeing it when you walk in. Uh, I think it's fine. Well, I wanna show y'all why we had to put some storage in here because we took out even more storage and we're basically gonna have no closets in the entire house. People got stuff, they gotta store it. That's true. So you can see where we put some new sheetrock here. There was a closet door here before that just led into like a linen closet and that was pretty much the only like common storage you had. Now it's part of our master bathroom. Let's go check that out. We combined what was previously the bathroom with that hall closet that Lincoln was talking about and the original closet to make kind of this big square and then we cut into part of that square to have this more of a, a deeper closet for your master. Well, let's check out the bathroom too. So the deal killer on this house, you'll remember, was this tiny, tiny master. It basically was half the size of what I'm in right now. So we stole some closet space from the hall and from the master closet. Now you got a proper suite. Yes. We really didn't have a choice on this one. I think if we had kept the bathroom the original size and just updated the fixtures, like that would have been a deal killer for a lot of people. And we, we're trying to appeal to as many buyers as we possibly can. And since this is a small space, I actually think we can get away with using a little bit more expensive materials, give it a more of a luxury feel than it otherwise might have. I've got some things in mind. 
So as we've grown our channel on YouTube, we really want to get you guys involved and reach out to other creators that are just starting out and getting a following. So we put a call to action on our Instagram to have you guys submit mood boards for this project. And one really stood out. Jorge with Class Refined Designs submitted a very, very sleek, modern, sexy design. And I'm super excited to work with him on this project. He has awesome Instagram stories and a YouTube channel. We will link both below. Go give him a follow and a subscribe. Hello, I've been following you for some time now and when I saw the tour of this house, I just had to share my ideas. Let's get started. Let's talk about that hall bath, the original tile floors. So I think they're super cool. I put it out on Instagram. We had about a 50-50 mix on who voted to keep them versus who just wanted us to rip them out of there. And so ultimately we decided to keep them. We had you work around that for this design plan, but I really love what you came up with. When we put this out, on Instagram, people love the design. They think it's so sharp, so cool. So I'm very excited about actually tile myself. I think it's beautiful. And working with that in mind, I think the cabinetry, I think it's nice, but I think updating the color would be really nice. I think being you know, something sort of moody, dark green, um, very, very dark, uh, like a muted color, pairing it with like a black countertop of some kind, I, and then some really like beautiful light fixtures, like a vanity light, a simple mirror, and some brass hardware throughout. I think that would work really nicely. Now, the back wall, I think by adding a little bit of interest with some wainscoting, painted white would be really nice. And then also a little bit of wallpaper right above it. Yeah, well, you're speaking my love language. You had me at wallpaper. I love wallpaper. And I love the fun pattern that you've chosen. The very first thing that drew my attention was those moody, kind of a green gray cabinets. I think it's just a super fun look. And like you said, pairing that with a matte black countertop. Again, this bathroom is sexy. All right, let's move on to the primary bathroom at this house. As you know, this was not original to the house. The bathroom that was there originally was so tiny. You had to squeeze in. It was hardly usable. So we combined the original bathroom with a closet next door and a closet in the hallway to create a more substantial primary bathroom. And I love some of the things that you pinned. And so I'm excited to see what you have in mind for that space. I put together this mood board where I'm sort of bringing in brass elements, some matte black elements, having continuous floor tile maybe into the shower. And I found like, this like beautiful Spanish style tile. I love the pattern of the tile that you chose. I love what you put together. I'm excited to execute it and we just really have been so happy to collaborate with you. Your designs are on point and I'm just so excited. Well, thank you, Jorge. We appreciate it. Talk to you soon. Super fun day at the Brick House. Windows are going in today. Pretty pumped about these. They've got kind of more of a, a color to them. We don't usually do a color, but this is kind of a beigey color. And I'm really excited to see how it looks. And today, tile is going in. Let's go check it out. I'm really excited to see these. Huge thank you to Lily Tile for sending us these tiles. Here we go. Ooh, Instructions, yeah. who needs them? <sighs> Ooh, Ta -da. Uh, look how sparkly and fun these are. Terrazzo is back in style, and I thought it'd be Ooh. super fun since this house was originally built in the 60s to have kind of like a little nod to something Ooh, original. Oh, I like that. But better. Okay, so we're in the master bathroom, and we're about to open the tile for the floor. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, I like that. Damn. I think those tones are gonna be awesome. Okay, so these are gonna go on the floor in here. Let's yep. check out what we're gonna use for the shower wall. Yes. Okay, so once we decided on the floor tile, I asked the people at Lily Tile if they had a recommendation for something that would complement it for the um, shower surrounds. And this is what they suggested. Ooh, Ooh I like that. What do y'all think? Comment below. Lily Tile, thank you so much for sending these. I cannot wait to get them in. Cue the montage. Let me show you. I'm super excited about how the master bath is coming along. Man, this is looking good. This is looking great. I, I find just the gray tile would be maybe a little plain or something, but there's like enough natural variation and it's looking good. So these are handmade cement tiles from Lily Tile. Um, so you can just really tell like the quality is amazing. Yeah, these are nice. And I love the pattern tile on the floor. This bathroom isn't huge. So I think it really just kind of adds a, a little bit of personality. So the beams were pretty controversial among the flipsters. Yeah, and then I'm not sure when we did, we painted them white. I don't know if we should have painted them like an accent color to make them seem intentional. We were kind of trying to hide them because they're that ugly wood tone, but I don't know, what do you think? I don't know, I kind of like it.
Pants are looking good, I you know? They look great. It's I've been wanting to do more of a natural wood look for a long time, and I think these are awesome. Yeah, the slab look is much more modern. But let's talk about this island because seeing it here in the physical space, it's a little bit bigger and you kind of get the feel for the walkways. I'm a little concerned with extending the island out this way to create bench seating. Yeah, you are kind of getting into your living space right here. And then we do have all this awesome drawer storage that would be kind of hard to access if we did that. Here's what I was thinking, is instead of coming out this way, we could extend this way. Uh -huh. Now you still have a tight space here and you don't want to go too far because you get into kind of the dining room space. But if we came out just a little bit, we could create in seating, not here, like sitting up against it, but on either end. All right, popping into the hallway bathroom, we've got our inspiration pick that Jorge with Casa Refined made for us, mocked up here in the space. I think it's gonna look good. It looks so good. So we're gonna paint this existing cabinetry dark. We're gonna add a dark countertop, some brass elements, and I think it's gonna look awesome. You guys voted. Okay, so it feels like there's still a lot to do, but really we're in the home stretch in this one. Yeah, we were like 85% of the way there. We gotta get this thing painted, get the floors and electrical up and in, and then boom, it's gonna be staging time in the three, two, one thing. Can't wait. All right, man, well, this one was deceptive. I feel like it seemed like it was quick and easy, but there's some tricky issues there. I think the results speak for themselves, though. This turned out awesome. I'm legit proud of this thing. Can't wait for you guys to see it in three, two, one. I gave it time, 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 all of my time, time, time. Now my mind, mind's lost in its thoughts. I want you, 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 one, only you, you, you. But my heart's all tied up in knots. So, what do you think? Yeah, it's looking good, right? I think. Look, we started out with plenty of curb appeal. It just needed just a little touch. Painting this little porch area was a great call. We made some other final tweaks. We put in this awesome door knocker. Looks great. And now you're not imprisoned anymore on your front porch. Wide just open. So the big noticeable updates are that we added these shutters, painted the front door in the garage, swapped out the post on the front, and of course we added an all new roof. And you guys are always telling us not to paint the brick, to keep the brick, and I love the color of this brick, so we finally listened to you. All right, let's head inside. Ta-da! All right! We put a new coat closet up here, deleted these Two that were, that were a little constraining, right? They're a bit of a choke point. Well, now I can see the kitchen right yeah. when I walk in. Open concept. Now this is your main living space right here off your doorway. I think we've done a good job of staging it a little further this direction. It really makes the space feel more open. It's sort of a, a small living space, so we staged it with some more petite furniture. You got this love seat from Article, and I really like this coffee table. Looks nice. Looks awesome. Once again, Article came through. Thank you, Article from the living room into your kitchen. Now this is the main event of this house. I think it turned out awesome. We had a little bit of drama with the island. Did we make it too big? I think it looks sharp. Now that we've staged it with these little stools, they let you know what you're supposed to do in this little area. This is for sitting. This is for sitting and eating uh, peaches. Look, we could just eat these super pink peaches. You guys have been asking for us to mix it up in the kitchen. You know, we do the shaker style, the white a lot, classic, clean, but we went modern in here. We've been wanting to do a wood grain cabinet for ever. Super excited that we got to do it on this project. I was a little unsure how it was gonna look, like having the wood tone cabinets with the wood floor, but I think it works, it vibes. It's super modern and clean, and obviously it's all about the stone. We did this double waterfall, super statement piece island in here. And then check the backsplash out. We continued the countertops up the backsplash to over here. What do you think? Classy, classy, classy AF. AF. Something we've never done before, which was actually your idea, mm -hmm. was to run this little ledge. And I think not only is it 
really cute and fun. I think it's also super functional. You can store your spices up here, what have you. Yeah, because we designed this backsplash to go up here with this shelf, I wanted to highlight it and show it off and there is a shortage of appliances we could not get <laughs> and just a normal slide in range without this back on it. I don't know, maybe we'll swap that out after the fact, but I would love to have been able to show that off. Something that was in stock was these awesome brass pendants. We got that deal, thanks to Karma. And I think they're awesome. They look great and they match the other lighting fixtures. You've got the brass above your big old basin sink and then moving into your dining space, you got kind of this brass and black chandelier above your table. I think this dining set from Article is the perfect set for this space. I love the circular table. These chairs are awesome. Yeah. I love the colors, what do you think? I think they look real funky, real trendy, and it's a small space so I think this is Perfect fit. It's not as small as the space used to be. Do you remember? <laughs> oh, the, the wall was safe? about here. Yes, you used to have your wall right here and your gun safe right there. So the property's a little less secure now, but it's more usable. Right. So one thing I was super pumped that this house had was an actual washer and dryer space. Now, in a lot of homes in this era, kind of mid-century, didn't, you're in the garage. I don't know if they're like hand washing the clothes back then, the mm -hmm. sink, line drying, I don't know what the deal was, but yeah. they didn't have these spaces. This one did. And with a nod to the arrow, went with these awesome terrazzo tiles from Lily Tile. Huge shout out to Lily for sending us these. They are beautiful. All right, let's talk about one of the layout changes quickly. We recaptured space from the garage to make your pantry. This was just open to the garage, didn't make any sense. Now we can claim this is square footage in the main house and it's a functional pantry. It's a big brain move right there. All right, so let's move on from here into the hall bath and those guest bedrooms. Let's check out this hall bathroom. I love this. Now this was Jorge with Casa Refined sent us this design for this bathroom. I couldn't love it more. I think it's so awesome. Jorge hooked it up. He has amazing content, so go subscribe to his channel right now. We are linking it down in the description. His bathroom design is fire. Look it's at beautiful. It. So if you remember, we kept this tile original and we worked around it, but I don't even think you can tell. I mean, I think it's very cool. Not to mention these amazing cabinets. I'm in love with this color and you know me, I'm a wallpaper girl. You do like wallpaper. And we got the wainscoting here. It, it all vibes, it all looks good. I hated these cabinets originally. You know I wanted to destroy them, blow them up. I know, but a little paint and some new hardware, bada 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 bang, like new. It at least just proves the point that you don't have to completely demolish everything. You can keep some floors, you can keep some cabinets. I think the bathroom is looking fire. Entering the spare bedrooms, again, basic, clean, fresh paint, carpet, new light fixture. I mean, we've done this playbook a time or two. Mm -hmm. Second guest bedroom, kept it simple, got rid of the hooks on the wall. <laughs> new windows throughout the house, in this room included. I think this is a great bedroom. Okay, so you remember there was a closet here before. We deleted it in favor of a bigger primary bathroom. Let's go see if we made the right choice. Oh yeah. All right, so here's your primary bedroom. I think it's a nice size. So we did replace the windows, but we kept the original casings. And it is kind of like a low framed window. And so instead of having like a big massive bed, we went with this low profile one from Article. I think it's a great fit. That and the end tables really kind of give that 1960s vibe mm -hmm. that we're going with in this place. Yeah, the last time we did a big bed frame in front of a window, you guys absolutely crucified us in the comments for blocking the natural light. How could we be so brazen? He's done nothing but dwell on this ever since he read that comment. So, you know, your comments matter and we're really people with real feelings. Just. Every negative comment is just hours in therapy for these people. <laughs> Let's move on to the grand finale, the primary bath. Let's do it. Okay, so definitely the highlights in this bathroom is the tile from Lily Tile. They sent this to us. I think it turned out amazing. We have this fun pattern on the floor and these cement tiles in the shower and just the quality, it's such high quality. It has kind of a shimmer and sheen to it. I was skeptical about how this gray tile is gonna look. I was like, is this gonna be too flat, too monotone? Because it's like handmade, it's got subtle little variations in the color and the sheen that makes it really pop. It upgrades the whole space. We match the kitchen cabinetry in here for the vanity space. Because this is such a small bathroom, we opted for more storage and a single sink instead of doing the double vanity in a kind of a small space. Are you regretting? I have mad regrets on this one. I wish, first of all, that we would have done a double sink, but if we were just gonna do one, I wish we would have put it over here. It was a little more prep space. Here it's a little tight. Not as tight as the bathroom was before. You know, sometimes you put things on paper and then in reality, it's a different thing. So. We're not perfect, We're not people. perfect people, we make mistakes. But 
all around massive upgrade. Agreed. I can at least shower without hitting my head on the ceiling. I think the material selections are fabulous. It looks great in here. Small whiff on the layout. I was gonna say, if I was redoing it, I maybe would bring that shower in a tweak. It's like we over uh, corrected because that other shower was so small. Yeah. I think it could have gone in a little bit. That would have helped with the dynamics going on here, but you live and you learn. You live and on you to learn. the next one. Okay, well, I'm pretty proud of how this one turned out. A few little things I would have done differently, but one thing I would have done differently is this kitchen. This kitchen's gonna sell this house, absolutely. This is where we sunk all the money, and I'm glad we did, it looks good. Speaking of selling, mm -hmm. we gotta get this thing on the market. All right, let's talk numbers. All right, so let's talk about the final numbers on this project. We purchased the house for $446,500. Our all-in renovation and holding costs were $132,000 for a total investment in the property of $578,500. We listed the property for $777,561, to be precise. If we can hit that number after $38,878 of closing costs, that would net us a total profit in the deal of $160,182. Make sure you guys follow us on Instagram at Austin Flipsters and we will let you know as soon as the property sells. I'm proud of this one, man. This is classic Americana, like you said, with a modern twist and that kitchen is banging. This is apple pie a la mode. We had a great time with this one. We'll catch you on the next one. Yeah, the microwave is sitting like right on top of your stove, man. You don't want to get the flames going too high on that thing. You, you, you're going to melt your microwave. <laughs> I don't know. Don't I, melt your microwave. You, can I say that again? That was awkward. <laughs> Yeah, man, the microwave was like right on top of the stove here, man. If you turn that flame up too high, you, you're gonna melt your microwave. There's not a lot of room to work with. Was yeah, that man. weird? Did I say yeah, it weird? Baby. <laughs> yeah, baby. Yeah, baby.